dollars to put a convicted criminal to death. Now this week, attorneys for Dylan Roof announced the Emanuel AME church shooter would plead guilty to killing nine churchgoers and attempting to kill three others in exchange for life in prison. And tonight, I-team reporter Rebecca Collette breaks down this cost of conviction. The, court and the, prosecution. the defense team was very clear this week. That our client is willing to plead guilty to all of the charges. Dylan Roof wants to keep his life, even if it's behind bars. The solicitor seeks the death penalty in the case against the man who murdered nine people at a church Bible study. A Columbia School of Law study finds executions cost between two and a half and five million dollars. A sentence of life without parole costs less than a million. If you let cost be the dispositive factor, it loses sight of what the court should be about, which is justice. And justice can be very expensive. Former state attorney Charlie Condon says Roof's case meets all the criteria of the law for the solicitor to seek the death penalty in South Carolina. If you look at this case from the standpoint of justice, again, I can't imagine a more appropriate case for the state to seek the death penalty. Some states have decided it's just too expensive. New Jersey abolished its death penalty in 2007. The state spent $254 million over 21 years administering it without executing a single person. New Mexico lawmakers followed in 2009. In August, Connecticut's highest court ruled the death penalty unconstitutional. Right now in South Carolina, there are 43 inmates awaiting death. The last inmate was executed in 2011. Following the solicitor's announcement to seek death, this is what the interim church pastor at Emmanuel said. The families and those who have been really impacted, which is all of us, need to see this process unfold. And those who have the responsibility to let us see what justice look like, not just for some of us, but for all of us, is very important. Now, at a trial, a pool of jurors would still have to decide death or life without parole. A trial in Charleston could run concurrently with a federal trial. So far, federal prosecutors haven't said they're seeking the death penalty. Rebecca Collette, News 2. All right, thanks, Rebecca. The I-Team always investigating, so if you want us to investigate something for you, email us, I-Team at WCBD.com. You can also call the I-Team. The hotline number is 843-216-4949.